Unsolved 1927, the case of 14-year-old Agnes Mann, who was found dead in the LMS Canal at Salford. She was found dead in the LMS Shipping Canal at Salford on the 23rd of May 1927. She was found in the canal four days after she had gone missing. The police called for a man that had been seen walking with a girl that matched the description of Agnes Mann along the LMS Railway Canal at Windsor from the direction of Pendleton at about 7.45am on the 20th of May 1927 to contact them. They said that it may well be that the man was legitimately passing along the towing path, possibly going to work, but that they would still like to interview him. They said that he was about 46 years of age, clean-shaven, had a fair complexion and had been wearing a muffler and cap. They also said that he had been dressed in dark clothing and boots and that he had walked with a decided limp. A doctor said that he was satisfied that she had not fallen or jumped into the canal. He stated that death was due to asphyxia and that there was no evidence that suggests that it had been caused by natural causes. He also said that the condition of the lungs and stomach did not suggest that her death was due to drowning. He said that in his opinion Agnes Mann must have gone into the water when she was in a state of unconsciousness, if she were not already dead at the time. An employee at a workhouse where Agnes Mann also worked said that he had seen her wearing a wedding ring and said that she had told him that with others, including her sister, that she had been playing at mock marriages. He said that on the 19th of May 1927, he had seen Agnes Mann and said that she appeared to be ill and downhearted. Her sister said that Agnes Mann had obtained the wedding ring from the house and said that Agnes Mann used to lark with it. The coroner said that the only inference was that she had met somebody at the canal bank and that that person had by some means produced a state of unconsciousness in her and then pushed her into the water. The coroner asked the doctor whether, if she had been chloroformed, there would be any traces of chloroform in her body, and the doctor said that there wouldn't. The doctor also said that changes in the colour of her face and neck would have hidden marks caused by strangulation. Agnes Mann had lived in Hayfield Street in Pendleton near Manchester. Nothing more is known about how she came to be in the canal, and the cause of her death is a mystery still to this day.